despite my love for all things Warhammer, there is actually only one game I've sat down and properly played more than once this year. And that game is Hero Quest, which was re-released by Hasbro in 2021. I'm of an age now where I don't have time to spend an hour setting up a game, and to be honest, most of the times I play games, I want to play them with my kids. And Hero Quest, well, it's simple. My seven and eight year old can play it with me because it's a simple case of rolling some dice and it's skulls versus shields. They can relate to it easily because it's a board game, you play it on one board but you've still got that unknown adventure that your heroes are going on, and you never know what's around the next corner. This is a far cry from the overly complex Warhammer Quest games that come out that I really want to get my kids into. And whilst Games Workshop do offer the odd few starter games that are normally sold at completely different retailers and hardly announced, this one's actually fun to play. But I do find a problem with Hero Quest, and that's the box that it comes in. Don't get me wrong, this is absolutely great for transporting it from the manufacturer to your house. Not a single item's gonna budge when it's moved halfway across the globe. But this is an absolute bane for anybody who, like me, paints their miniatures because the box is gonna scuff and scrape them every time I remove them for play. So this is why I decided to spend £50 on a box of foam from Feldir, which will be enough to house not only the base game, but the two expansion sets and the extras that come as part of the Kickstarter Mega Bundle. Well, that's what it had said it'd house anyway. Feldir are absolutely great for storage solutions. Not only have they got the widest selection of boxes available for miniatures, but when it comes to particular games, such as the one I got for Space Hulk and this one here I've got for Hero Quest, they do specific foam inserts intended to house all of the components within the box and still keep it neat and tidy. And whilst there were no instructions included with it other than the packing guide, it was quite clear on their website which component was intended to be in which recess in the foam trays. And it was really easy to just lift and shift everything out of the plastic inserts and put them in as shown on the guide. It's got spaces for all the doors, drawers, cupboards, wardrobes, all your playing pieces and tiles, and even the cards. These protective foam trays are a far cry from the horrible inserts you get with the base game, because as I said before, in a lot of cases, especially with the smaller components, they're just an absolute nightmare to get out. And most of the time, you'll just send pieces flying across the floor. And these foam trays are great because they take up approximately the same profile in height as the boxes that come in the actual Hero Quest box. And it was really great to get everything laid out, not only the models from the original box, but also the two expansion sets and the Kickstarter extras, all in four separate trays. And speaking of that original box, it actually comes with a card insert at the bottom, so you can take this out and get some extra depth too. It's nice that the creators actually thought about this and all the extra pieces you'd want to put in the box, but it may or may not be just to make the box look bigger, to try and sell more. Unfortunately though, it does leave you with some components that have no clearly designated space, such as larger floor tiles, the actual play divider for the wizard, and the rule books. Thankfully though, because most of these are large and flat, you can just sandwich them between the trays and the flat foam insert that goes in the base of the box. And whilst this still leaves it sitting a little bit proud, I'm quite chuffed with the fact that I've got everything protected all in one box. And even though the lid sits a lot higher than before, you even get these straps included to hold everything together in your storage shelves. However, in retrospect, what I probably shouldn't have done is try and fit all of the game and the Kickstarter pledge extras in one Hero Quest box. What I should have done was just keep the Hero Quest base game in its own box and picked up some of Feldir's extra storage solutions for the individual expansion separately especially now the game's properly picked up and taken off again, and there are more expansions coming to it as we go on. All in all, I think this is an absolutely fantastic solution for people who want to take the best care of their games that they possibly can. And as I said at the beginning, Feldir have a ton of solutions. If you can think of a board game that's got models in it, or any Warhammer game, they probably have a designated solution specifically for that box product. 
what do you think of these? Is this something you'd be interested in? Or is £50 on a box of foam an insane amount of money? Please let me know down in the comments. And if you found this useful, don't forget to hit like, drop me a comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I want to do a huge thanks to you guys for watching and also to our patrons who are listed on the screen now. You can get in on that and support us and get your name in the credits by following the link in the description. But until next time, thanks again. Fohammer out.